I know exactly why you clicked on this video. You want to know what's inside. Last year, I created the perfect spring tackle box with y'all's help, but it seems like there's always room for improvement. So after accumulating cool tackle throughout the year, I introduced to y'all the perfect spring tackle box 2.0. Let's load up the Yintin 2.0 and take it to a private lake to show off the abilities of this new tool of ours. Yes! Just, just. Oh, happy Easter weekend, everybody. Well, when you're watching this, it's probably already passed. But regardless, the verse of the day comes from John 1, 9. The one who is the true light, who gives light to everyone, was coming into the world. And that light is Jesus. Sometimes in life, it might be confusing. There might just be so much cloudiness. But let me just tell you, Jesus came into my life. He made things clear. He showed me how to truly live. He gave me a purpose, and I believe that he can do the same for you. So, who do we have here today? Chesin, were you the one that caught the very first bass on the Yintin 2.0? I believe I was. So what are we going to do today with this springtime tackle box? Are we going to destroy them and hammer them and catch some PBs? I think we're going to break it in pretty good today. I feel, uh... I think we have a good chance of catching a lot of fish, hopefully. Chazen, once I drop the boat in, can you toy motor to that dock over there? Sure. Just do, do your best. Don't worry if you can't get it perfectly. If I have to jump in and swim, it's okay. Let's head to the dock. Last video, I went on my yin yak, and man, that was such a struggle bus. We didn't catch a single thing. And then I resorted to just doing some bank fishing. That's where we just yoinked some spawners. Here in Virginia currently, it is beautiful and gorgeous. So warm. It's like 70 degrees right now. Water clarity, a little bit muddy. But who cares because I believe all of these bass are pushing up super shallow. This is PB season. For real, for real. Oh, let's go. All right, I'm going to make a leap of faith here. And we are off. This is the legendary box that I'll go over with y'all in a second here. Just put it next to me. Got some rods. Cheson's up front. He's going to be the first to catch the fish today. Get our skunk out of the way. And to aid our chances for today, I'm going to go ahead and check in on the Deep Dive app. A wonderful partner of the channel. We got this lake plugged in the system. And we can see the wind. Yeesh. Chesson, did you know it's going to be up to 11 miles per hour winds today? Ouch! Okay, it sounds like spinnerbait times to me. No way! Look at that. First fish of the day. You want to know what's really crazy about what just happened? See right here? This is kind of where we are right now. It says the wind is blowing here. Chesson just caught a fish. So I guess the game plan is to head over to places that have a lot of wind. Bait wise, we have so many options. It's definitely, we're going to be shallow and stained. And look at that the first bait that it recommends, a bladed jig. My friends, let's examine the bait that Chesden is throwing, a bladed jig. Who would have thought? Wow. Yeah, that's pretty much all I really need to see. I mean, if I want to check in the weather for later today to see if I need to apply some sun lotion, here we go. Now our buddy Brandon is gonna join us in a second here. So we're just gonna be doing some shallow fishing and then we'll pick him up in about an hour. But let me run you down what I got in sort of here. Got a popper, some lipless cranks, some more crankbaits. We got the reds especially, can't go wrong with those. More topwater, a spook and a frog, all sorts of jigs, whether it's bladed or it's a swim jig or it's a regular jig. Then we have our worms, pink bubble gum, so good. Uh, oh, we got these new Crush City crawls, which are uh, apparently gonna be killer. Minnow style baits, of course. Terminal, more like, underspins and whatnot crankbait and then a glide bait so this thing i would value this box set maybe around a uh, hundred something dollars or even more honestly last year's box was a pretty big success i took it to a local pond and started just smacking them but then i decided hey why not for this year's springtime tackle box 2.0 Let's take it on a lake. As you can see, it's really windy, so I apologize for all this, but if you guys can bear with this bad audio, you should be able to see some really good fish catches. Starting off, let's rig up a Texas rig. I think this is called like the Bronco Bug. Jacob Wheeler, the professional fisherman, designed this. 
So uh, let's just give it a go. Toss a wacky rig on here. Oh man, it feels like a hurricane out here. I think we gotta run with the spinner bait, not gonna lie. Just diversify a little bit since Chesin's already running the chatter bait. Everyone drop down in the comments some of your favorite springtime baits because perhaps I missed some. And next year, God willing, I would love to make a springtime box 3.0. I read and interact with every single one of my comments in this section. I think I want to start off with a old spinner. First cast. Get that backlash out of there. No way, I just broke off. There's the line, there's the line. We can get it back. Yes, good. Rescue mission. Oh, I'm not losing no spinner bait today. Real, real, real. I got it, I got it, I got it, yes! <laughs> what What if I handline this and I catch a fish on it? Dude, how did this snap on me? This is like 18 pound fluorocarbon too, and it's just clean break. Maybe it's because I had a backlash in there for a while. I'll probably do it, not gonna lie. I got my bait back, let's retie, how about that? I do not sugarcoat anything. If I mess up, I will show it on camera so y'all can learn. The mistake I made there was that I had a backlash in here for a while and I just kind of left it there. I never took it out. And I think what that did was it just damaged the line. The biggest bass I caught out of this lake was like a four and a half pounder. Apparently there's another guy out here fishing on his boat and he lost a Titan. He was so upset about it. This is all just coming from Chez because I wasn't here to witness it. But it seems like the big Berthas are biting. And if we can implement all this correctly, we should be good. Another one? Uh, yeah. Sure. yeah. Oh, yeah. Good in. Good in. Nice, Chez, then. As I'm tying up, he got another. Oh, that's 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 decent, bro. Just let me know if you ever need the net, okay? Yeah, you, you need the net for this, dude. I got you. Come here. Oh, boom. We finally retied. Chez, then, just caught, like, I would say that was, like, near two pounds or something it was really good yeah so today because they're so shallow we're really not going to use too much live scope it could be helpful but at the same time we can just regular fish and they should eat it's crazy how much of a difference like the weather makes because we were out here a month and a half ago and nothing wanted to eat hmm how about the texas rig nice little black and blue action going now this is left-handed so I gotta definitely adjust a little bit. What's good, Brandon? I'm Ryan, nice to meet you. Welcome aboard. I'm finally doing it. Switching over to the one and only Chatterbait. You got one? Nice, Jez. Oh, I'll catch him, don't worry. <laughs> get, get back in there. Yeah, we kind of give up fighting this win. We're just going to let it take us down the bank. Oh, underneath that tree. Definitely something. Spring fishing is all about covering water and variety. You know, this might be the most amount of people fishing on the Yintin 2.0 so far. Three people. You got one? Yeah! Yeah, Chez! Is it good in? Good in? Oh, wait, that, he's not even jumping. Oh, wait, uh, Brandon, you might need to get the net. The net's down there. Oh, keep him down, keep him down. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that's, that's really big. I'm gonna take him out and then bring him back around. <laughs> oh, 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 that's a giant. That's a giant. Oh, 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 yes. That's like a four. <laughs> Did, Chez. Doom. Too easy for Chez, man. Man, that's a big one. Can I at least touch him? <laughs> I forgot what a bass was like. Okay, dude. Solid. Bro, Chez is out here casually losing three pounders. Brandon and I still have yet to get one in the boat. We spent the next couple hours just chugging Texas rigs and wacky rigs and just nothing was really happening. And so I decided to finally switch up my strategy. Oh, 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 oh. What? Dude, I thought. That might be a big one. <gasps> That's a big one. Oh big one. Get the net. Get the net. I got it. I got it. All right. Hey, bringing them over. Easy, easy, easy. Yes. 
Justin! 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 Yo! Thank you, Jesus! Let's get the scale. Hey, good job on the net assist. That might be the fish that that dude lost. Right. Apparently, there's another guy out here fishing on his boat, and he lost a titan. He was so upset about it. This is all just coming from Chez, because I wasn't here to witness it. What are we at, man? Four point six two. Bro, when he jumped, I thought he was like a seven pounder. No, what? That is just ridiculous. <laughs> God is good, man. Big ol' Bertha. You can release her. Oh, yeah. This is why you fish in the springtime. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Dude. That's crazy, because the guy before us actually was fishing, and he lost the big fish. Pretty sure Chesden just caught that. <laughs> good save. Technically, although so far I haven't landed anything, using anything from the spring tackle box. I do have chatterbaits in there, and guess what? Chesden was throwing a chatterbait the entire day. Chesden, what do you have to say to Brandon and I? I guess the fish just liked me more. I don't know. <laughs> you have to take it up with the fish. Oh.